A lot of people try to barter though their their team, and I don't think that's a good idea at all. Uh -huh. In terms, like for equity, you mean, or for no, uh, just for like um, for like uh, energy exchange. For if somebody needs graphic design uh -huh. and maybe they're a business coach, they would say, "Okay, I'll give you this much coaching if you do my graphic Energy design." Exchange. Ener yeah, <laughs> and I do not recommend that. It doesn't work out. <laughs> so um, pay real money for goods and services, yeah. and uh, but but uh, invest early in, and look out for the long term. Absolutely. Welcome to Modern Entrepreneur. Today we have April Ayanna Zone, who is a highly acclaimed marketing strategist and international business coach. After never having time to take a vacation, missing her girls' basketball games, and putting her job above her family, April decided she'd had enough. That's when Self Made Success was born. April now shows other burned out entrepreneurs how to finally achieve the freedom they thought was impossible. Thanks so much for being here, April. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm yeah, so honored. Good. Well, let's just dive into it. So Perfect. tell me what you feel like is your, your most unique skill set and how that skill set has helped you in your success in business. Perfect. I guess walking into a business or learning about a business and really finding out what is working well for them and helping them scale that, but more importantly, what opportunities are they missing out on? Yeah. So really trying to figure out, um, maybe I work with a lot of gyms, mm -hmm. figuring out, okay, what can you do other than that $100 monthly membership and right. create all different programs and expand online. Uh huh. So you've got kind of like a strategic mind for for uh, how to organize business and making offers, sounds like. Absolutely, yeah. Uh -huh. Cool, and um, you've grown your business for how long now? Um, I have a few different businesses. Mm -hmm. The self-made success, we're going into our third year. Uh -huh. um, I also have an event production company and wow. some other business uh, creative and alternative funding, things like that. Wow, and, uh, and what do you feel like is working right now to help grow those businesses? You know, my favorite thing right now is uh, quizzes. Quizzes. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like my number one lead generation for the majority of everything. Interesting. Yeah. And so tell me about how that works. So um, pretty much, you know, when you, well, maybe not you, but when I was younger, there used to be like Tiger Beat magazine, uh -huh. and you can uh, answer about eight questions to find out if the boy really likes you. you know? oh, so everybody okay. like loves uh -huh. to do quizzes, but when it <laughs> pops up on Facebook and uh -huh. it's, do you have what it takes to become the next industry leader, or uh -huh. is your business leaving uh, money on the table? Right. Answer these eight questions to find out. Yeah, so that's an ad, that, an ad. and then they click to it, and, uh, and then they go to your page, and there's like a multiple choice. They answer eight quick questions. Uh huh. And then? And then they go to one of three results pages. Got it. And it's a quick video with me. And if they answer one of the three questions right, uh -huh. they get the opportunity to get on a phone and have a strategy session. Awesome. And that's, that's your lead generation tool. And you're driving traffic through Facebook ads. And yeah. that's the thing that's blowing your business up right now. It, it's killing it for me at the moment. Unbelievable. That's great. Congratulations. And it works very well with Entreport. Oh, good. You guys <laughs> use Entreport. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, you know, as we look back on our um, time as entrepreneurs, we learn a ton, and it's really easy for us to say to ourselves, man, if I only knew then what I know now, what is that thing for you? If you could like kind of whisper in the ear of yourself five years ago, what would have made the biggest difference? Grow a team faster. Grow a team faster. Yeah, and make sure the team, I, I grew a team of one, not me plus one other person, mm -hmm. and I put too much responsibility on that one person uh -huh. at the beginning. So grow a team that specializes in exactly what they need to do. Yeah, and how did that hurt you? It hurt me because it did stunt my growth a little bit at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wasn't able to leverage as much, and I was still the one doing most of the work, even though I was outsourcing a little bit. But usually for entrepreneurs, we um, don't grow a team because teams are expensive. How do you, how, how would you like recommend yeah. the, you know, like again, speaking to yourself back then, how would you have, have told yourself, you know, hey, you need to have five people. Um, how are you going to pay for that? Yeah. Or how does that work? That's a great question because actually that's one of the things that most of my clients say when I say, okay, you need this person. Yeah, they're like, you, are you going to pay for it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, you need to make the upfront investment because it's, the return on investment is crazy big. Uh -huh. So if you can just picture your business five years where you want it to be five years, I yeah. believe that's how you should make every decision. Yeah. Not the like, okay, I'm the long, yeah, the bigger So would vision. you recommend that entrepreneurs don't get started until they can afford to hire uh, a, a team to, to create this thing? Oh, no. I, I think you always should get started. Just get you know, started. Get started. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a lot of ways to find a team, you know, um, Maybe your husband can do some stuff for you at the beginning. Yeah. Um, go to Upwork.com. There's a lot of people that you can get on there as yeah. well. Um, 
a lot of people try to barter though their their team, and I don't think that's a good idea at all. Uh-huh. In terms, like for equity, you mean, or for no, uh, just for like um, for like uh, energy exchange. For if somebody needs graphic design uh-huh. and maybe they're a business coach, they would say, "Okay, I'll give you this much coaching if you do my graphic energy design." Energy exchange. Ener- yeah, <laughs> and I do not <laughs> recommend that. It doesn't work out. So um, pay real money for goods and services, yeah. and uh, but but uh, invest early in, and look out for the long term. Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. So uh, what's next for you? What is the uh, you know we always uh, you know that's kind of like what you learned, and you know what do you want to learn next? What's the mo- next most important thing for you? Uh, what don't I want to learn? Yeah, <laughs> you know, well, tell I'm me. like a sponge. Just um, what are you what have you been learning lately? Uh, I think the next thing that I want to really perfect is uh, speaking a little bit. I I speak all the time, Uh but I am not the greatest speaker. So Uh I can admit that, but that's one of the areas that I really want to to grow in. Public speaking. Yeah, yeah. what else? Um, Oh, good question. I guess what else? Um, I want to learn to give up a little more control. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a that's a big one for me, uh-huh. even though I'm great at delegating and now building my team, yeah. I still want to kind of have a hand on everything. And I think that's something that I need to grow in. Yeah. And how, what's that going to get you? Do you feel like uh, more time? Freedom. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it'll help me scale more, too. Yeah. Awesome. That's a, it's a huge challenge because I, I mean, I definitely um, went through the pain of that myself, especially earlier on, like when we were between like somewhere around 12 people was when it started to really get out of like, you know, I couldn't actually manage it anymore. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a li- even a little earlier, like seven or eight people. And, uh, and I really struggled from like there to like 25, 30 people to, to, to um, you know, let go of, the, of my baby, yeah. you know, and, and let kind of the results be what they were going to be and somehow figure out how to successfully delegate. It's been a huge challenge. But you've done it masterfully because you have such an incredible team. Like, there's not one thing bad I can say about Andre Board and the staff here. Yeah, we definitely succeeded, but it didn't. uh, It wasn't easy. Is all I'm saying is that it is. It is. uh, It took us many years, and um, and now I'm definitely way on the other side of that because I have no (laughs) idea what's going on anywhere in my business. So that would drive me crazy. (laughs) But I got to get. That's where I need to grow. (laughs) So uh, so tell me about the long term. What do you feel like you would like your legacy to be? My legacy is definitely, um, I work with a lot of women, so it's definitely letting them know that uh, they never had to, to depend on anybody else for to support them. I mean, I went through a huge divorce and yeah. begging my husband to stay with me because I was afraid I couldn't support myself and my children. Um, so my legacy well, is- that's impactful. Yeah, letting my girls, my two daughters, and other women know that any point in time they can generate what, however much money they need. Yeah, that you can be self-sufficient and and for, to have your kids um, really have a sense of confidence around absolutely. their security and their futures. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, beautiful. Well, um, we've called this series Modern Entrepreneur. We've launched this whole brand. What do you feel like it means to be a modern entrepreneur? Having a business on your own terms. Uh huh. Definitely. Um, I'm able to build my business around the ideal lifestyle and not in the fluffy word of lifestyle, but I'm able to attend every one of my kids' basketball games. I work a few hours a day and I get a lot of work done. And maybe I have to work at night too, but it's after the family stuff's done and if I want to go on vacation, I can go on vacation and work there. So definitely building a business on your own terms. Yeah. And that's something that's different than, than entrepreneurship 20 years ago, you think? Even... 15 years ago, mm-hmm. uh, 10 years ago, I owned a catering company. It's yeah. completely different. Yeah, because you were just uh, tied to it uh, during all hours of the For day. Everything. And there wasn't, there was online marketing, but not as prevalent as it was now. So now I work with people all over the world yeah. um, with with the help of Entreport, of course. But um, it's just, it's crazy how things have transformed so quickly in, in business world. Yeah, the internet has really kind of like knocked the, um, the, like the real timeness out of, out of um, the way we work in a lot of ways so that you can kind of like organize your schedule any way you want to and really, and really be providing powerful services to, to people all over the place, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Will you sign our wall? Absolutely. All right. Thanks. So you've been at this for a while now. How long have you been at Mind Valley? Eight years. Eight years. I started as an intern eight years ago. Uh huh. As an intern. Awesome. Now the CEO. Uh, so co-founder now. Yeah. Co-founder. Yeah. Okay. I was CEO like two years ago. Oh wow! You've moved on. 